think I got a mouse in my boat. Come check this out. So if you look at these wires here, ooh, they're a little bit chewed up and frayed. Like this is for my fish finder. So I guess no fish finder day. Oh, there he is right there. No, that's terrible. Well, today we're gonna go fish with a mouse, but first we gotta catch it. Oh, there's one right over here. Just, just one moment. He's just right in this grass right here. No. Oh, crikey. No. Well, how about just a normal introduction? Welcome back to another episode of Zach the Fisherman. Today, we're fishing with this critter right here. I sculpted it with my own two hands. It is a very interesting bait. It doesn't perform the way I wanted it to. It, uh, it dives a little, but if you fish it slow enough, it is a top water, but if you fish it slow enough, you can get to those depths and hopefully pull a pike off bottom. But can't catch fish here, so let's get the boat and stuff into the lake. And let's get the fishing with this homemade mouse lure. Hopefully we can get a sick top water bite. All right, let's get going to our first spot. Whoa, I'm too shallow. I forgot this lake dropped like three feet. That's almost dangerous. But look how clear this water is. You can just see straight down. I have no idea how deep we are. There's no fish finder. But let's get our first cast out. I made two of these things. Maybe I should try the other one. I just like the look of this one better. But I mean, not swimming too great. Try the other one. Same concept. Just I did I put a thicker clear coat on this one. It didn't turn out as well as I liked. So it's still a mouse. We could call it muskrat because it kind of this. I think this is the one that dives. Yeah, this one dives. This is a diving one. It does that kind of action in the water. So we'll try it. Honestly, this probably mimics like a muskrat more than a mouse, but okay, let's get out of this muck. This is bad. Okay, yeah, we're gonna fish with this bad boy. It's a mouse. Same concept, just brown and dives. Brown and dives because it's got a thicker clear coat, makes it heavier. Makes it a more stable bait, I don't know. I'm not a bait maker, I just made these. They're kind of cool. Okay, fish just jumped. We're on this. I can't tell you exactly where, but we'll see that area. Oh, something hit it on the pause. You think chasing? Not that I can see. I swear I'm getting hits here. I swear. They're hitting it on the pause. Got one, just like that. That was insane. Turns out pike do in fact hit mice slash muskrats or whatever this is. Oh. Okay, chill out. Chill, man. Chill, bro. It's okay, man. Better get this guy untangled because he decided to do a barrel roll inside the net. But. Let's just get this guy back. Pike, we'll eat a mouse swim bait. Good fish guy, thank you. Okay. Now to perform surgery on my net because, you know, Mr. Fishy over there was not having the net. Thing I got, concealed pliers. I don't know if you guys have noticed. You guys probably have. I haven't been uploading much. It's not from lack of trying. It's from lack of making quality videos. I even went on a SmackDown 
of freshly stocked trout. I had fun. Then I thought to myself, man, this is boring. So I didn't end it, edit it. And uh, yeah, I've, I went walleye fishing the other day. I caught like three fish. I could have made a 10 minute video out of it, but I didn't want to do that for you guys. Um, Cause I'm trying to post quality, not quantity. And I understand YouTube algorithm and what you have it, but if I post garbage after garbage every week, I know I stop clicking. That's all I'm saying. Come on, one more pike. Come and smash it there, Poppy. Why am I calling him Poppy? I don't know. It's a little strange. You see that? That guy had such acrobatics. That was cool. Well, look at that. We're too close to shore again. And as always, don't remember, uh, don't remember, remember to take care of your mental health and well-being. I care about you, your family cares about you. Even if you don't think nobody cares about you, somebody out there cares about you. I care about you watching. Oh, I know that's greedy, but we just caught another fish. Sorry, I know it's greedy, but I appreciate you guys watching these videos. I'm, I'm just an average guy fishing. I think this one's a little bit bigger than that last one. Eh, maybe not. He's got some spawning scars on him though. Some gnarly ones. Spin out, spin out. Some nice males that we're catching here. Oh gosh. I'm gonna try and avoid the net if I can. Let's get this guy in the boat. There we go. And look at that. Once again, I appreciate you guys for watching. Look at that mouse. In his mouth. It's kind of rewarding catching baits, catching pike on baits that I made myself that I didn't go out and buy. Sure, I probably spent way more money on this thing. I like, I bought a bandsaw and a belt sander. I probably spent way more money making this than I could have went to the store, but you know, it's rewarding catching some pike on a mouse. One last look before I let this feller go. As I said, I was getting too shallow. I am getting too shallow now. The weeds kind of compile up in the shallow waters here. So I, I really actually do need to go and move. I might anchor, I don't want to anchor though. I like covering water, especially when I'm fishing for pike. So. Let's go, move the boat so we can catch some more fish. You know, it's a good day when you're slimy. You've been on the water for half an hour. My pretty little swim bait. Let's catch us another fish. This thing's awesome. Hit it on the pause. Pause, smash. Ready? Three, two, one, pause. No. Three, two, one pause no oh there's one chasing though there was one chasing it i don't know if you guys saw that way out there but there was a critter chasing it this thing is actually productive i just thought i was going to struggle a little bit basically when you're fishing these shallow pike like when you're fishing for pike especially in the spring go fish the shallow bays right now this is like probably six feet of water if i had to guess over there, it's a little bit too shallow, too weedy, too difficult to get stuff through. It has all this like hairy, hairy, hairy weeds, which those are never fun to deal with, but better to be fishing in this deeper water and try and find the warmest corner of the bay. I know I don't have a thermometer or like fish finder to tell me where the warm corner is. I know where the warm corner of this lake is. It's not a very big lake. It's basically a pike bay. <laughs> so okay, 
I guess I've caught a few fish. On, I caught two. Uh, let's catch one more fish on this. And then let's switch to that other one that's more of a top water. Let's see if we can get anything to hit that. I mean, I kind of gave up on it really quick. I'm going to have to change my line after this. All this pollen flying through the air. Got one. There we go. Okay, we'll switch up after this guy. He smacked that. He hit that hard. It's not any bigger than the other ones. They're all cookie cutters. That's okay. That's okay. We're having a good time. He's actually probably, he's the smallest of the day. I hate how they hog tie themselves too. There we go. Look at that. I'm hooking him so nicely. Ow, I got a hook in my hand. Ow, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. Don't flop, don't flop, don't flop. And let's get this fish back into the drink. Little guy, once again, let's go. Okay, time for the top water. Gosh dang it. I was actually most excited for this one. Cause I thought this was gonna swim differently, but it doesn't. It's, it's so much lighter and you have to fish it so much slower and it's so much more boring. But see if we can get one to come smash it from the depths. It's got the same white belly. It's crazy that the exact same shape bait acts so differently. It has the exact same amount of weight, but the only difference between this one and that one is the clear coat on that one's a lot thicker. I can catch a fish on this. Who do I think I am? Zach the fisherman? Oh wait, I am Zach the fisherman. I can catch a fish on this. That is pretty cocky, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just an average guy. I did get recognized. I appreciate when people do that, but I don't know how to react. So don't think I'm like being a jerk. It's just, when I'm at Costco, not expecting some people saying hi to me. Oh yeah, this is gonna catch a fish. It has to, there's no way that it doesn't. Like that action, I have to work it. I have to give it some effort. Top water bite not be, might not be it today. This is my third drift with this thing. This might be my last cast with this. And let's catch a fish. Let's just quickly catch a fish. Just, just quickly. I'll throw this. I have confidence. I'll throw this mouse on. I don't catch a fish. I'm sorry, I didn't catch a fish on the other bait. I, I tried, but I can't do it much longer. I just want to catch fish. I don't want this to be a three fish video, as I said, at the start of this. So let's start cranking them. There we go. First cast with this thing. It's not a very big guy. Unless he's swimming right at the boat. Oh, he is. Oh. Some acrobatics. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, this is a good bait. I really like it. I hope I don't lose it. Get them unhooked. And sent on the sent on the way. Relax there, buddy guy. Relax. I gotta grab you. Oh, you're actually you might be a keeper. Uh, I don't want to keep yet though. Nothing to write home about, but. A nice healthy fish, nonetheless. Fish number four. On the mouse. I know it doesn't perform. We're gonna call this the muskrat. This one's the muskrat, that's the mouse. This is it, this is it right here. There we go. I told you, I told you it was it. It's not very big, but I told you it was it. Oh my gosh. This guy was hungry. Little guy. Let's get him back. Future of the lake. I'm slimy. Gotta love that feeling. Oh, I just had a hit right off the bat, I think. Was that a hit? Okay. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. I might switch up this bait though to something cool or -er? custom. 
we'll say custom. This lake has a lot of perch. And I think almost, was it last year or was that two years ago? It was a long time ago. I had uh, Leadhead Lures paint some baits for me. And the whole idea was to come here and fish with them. Hopefully catch some big fish. They're pretty big for this lake though. Like they're a big swim bait. You just seen that fish I just caught. It's a little dramatic. I mean, I might toss that around for a little bit. Let's catch another on this mousy. And when you're fishing for pike, fan cast. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't do that, but I did, I did one, two, three. But that's the whole idea. Cover as much water. I like this whole drift method too. It's stealthy. If you have an electric trolling motor, that's the most ideal thing that you can use, but I don't have that yet, yet. Thinking about it in the next year or two. Still recovering from Mega Live. Yeah, let's catch a fish here. Wow, every time I say that, it seems like they just, it's like their trigger word. They're just like, okay, sure, man, whatever, I'll eat. This one feels heavier, maybe, maybe. He's staying down. Oh no, I just, he just inhaled that fit thing. He was a hungry dog. Oh, Zach, that's a fish. I know, I don't even know what that was, ignore me. I don't know who I am. Oh gosh, 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 buddy guy. I wish you were bigger, so like if my surgery does not plan out as I hope it does, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. Don't be ripping and tearing and just go nice and slow. That was deep, but this fish is not bleeding. Let's get him back in the water. You good, man? Let's get him revived, Jeez. You good? There we go. Hopefully he survives. I mean, I did my very best in surgery there. Okay. I was gonna switch this bait up. But after a fish chokes it like that, I mean, it's gotta be, oh, it's gotta be a good bait. What was their trigger word? Oh, I think a fish is gonna bite here. I'm, in, uh, I'm, I'm having a little anxiety and like, I'm a little embarrassed for myself. That whole, that's not a dog, that's a fish. I don't, I don't know. That was a little strange. Winnipeg has conditioned me into loving hot dogs. My favorite food. Have you been to Wiener Peg at the Forks? Delicious. Skinner's and Selkirk? Oh. oh, slaw on a dog. Oh. Why am I talking about hot dogs? I'm hungry. These fish are hungry too. Hopefully they're about to eat something. A tasty mouse muskrat? A, a musk mouse. This is a musk mouse. Call this the musk mouse. This is a guy, some average guy talking to himself on a boat. It's the most sane thing I've ever done. Maybe, allegedly. I'm just talking to myself. That's the cast right there. Don't know what sound came with it, but that was the cast. Check me out on Instagram. I don't know where this is coming from. I gotta be natural about this, okay? I gotta be natural. Yeah, so like I have an Instagram, Zach the Fisherman. <clears throat> yeah, so I have Instagram. Check it out, follow it. It's Zach the Fisherman. Yeah, pretty sick. While you're at it, leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I just want to be a fisherman at the end of the day. I know my intro was like a little extra and goofy, but I'm just rambling on here. Last cast, fish is gonna eat it, and then we're gonna go reset and drift again. Maybe I should try different, no, why would I leave fish? There's fish here. 
See if we can catch some bigger fish. Let's see if we can get a bigger fish. We're gonna switch over to a swim bait. This thing is large and in charge. It is about six inches. This is the one Leadhead Lures has painted for me. Check them out on Instagram. Check out their baits. They make some cool stuff. There's a lot of perch in this lake. Match the hatch. What do you mean? They're eating musk mice. That's their natural forage right now, musk mice. This is gonna feel better. It's gonna be a little bit heavier, easier to cast. See if we can pull some big fish from the bottom of the lake. Oh, we got a little, little rat's nasty there. I bought these blanks online. I don't remember where I got them, but all they are is just some blanks. I think of trout, but hey, they got that little hump like a perch. Six inch perches like that. I mean, pike lake perch, so. Oh, I had a hit. They're hitting it. I just think that they're too small to actually eat it. Let it sink for a bit. This is a slow sinking bait. Going. Feels like a nice fish. It didn't take long. I kept getting hits on it. Bigger bait, bigger fish? No, no, not. Unfortunately, not so. Fish nonetheless. There we go. Caught that, caught on that swim bait. I mean, this is a DYI lure catch fiasco. There we go. Fish eating five, six inch swim bait. Let's let him go. Beautiful. They really like the pause here. I don't know what it is. It's like, as soon as that bait's like, oh, they attack. If it's moving, they're just whatever. A lot of people troll this lake. I've noticed that people don't cast and they say, oh, you're not gonna catch anything if you cast. Well, you fish slow here. You'll catch them. Cause what's happening is when you're turning, when you're trolling, it slows down for half a second. Bing, bang, boom, the pike's like, oh, I can catch up to it and I can eat it, easy meal. I hate the feeling of my hands after. I grab a pike and then I grab my reel. It's like, I feel like my rod's just gonna slip right out of my hands. Let it sink, jerk, jerk. Got a fish or slow. You choked that man. You wanted to eat that perch. I'm sorry to take your meal away from you. They're all cookie cutters though. They're all the same old fish. But I'm having fun. Ugh. Those hooks are buried. Settled debate for me in the comments. Is it bury or is it bury? I buried these or did I bury these? Serious question. I've had debates about it with my girlfriend. But let's get this fish back. Whoa, okay. You know it's a good day when you're catching hand handles on six inch swim baits. It's a good day to be fishing. It's nice being off work, being in the boat. Oh, I had a hit. I gotta get out of here. I got to get out of here, I'm gonna hit the shore. Not actually, but. There we go. Okay. Let's catch a pike, first cast, let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, twitch, twitch, twitch. That's what I would eat. I would eat it like right there. Twitch, twitch, twitch. I would eat right now. Twitch, twitch, twitch. I'm too close to shore. Too close to shore. Ah, oh, yeah, there, ah, oh, I lost him. Probably just too little. Twitch, 
twitch, twitch, twitch. Got him. The, oh, that was a tiny pike. <laughs> Just goes to show you that those little guys will still attack six inch bait. Got one. GoPro. There we go. Another little guy. Just absolutely hammering it. This guy's thicker. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he's just under the water and the water is refracting and making him look a lot bigger than he actually was on the swim bait. Again, look at that. There we go. Last look. Fish back. Uh, that could be an eater, but that's probably the biggest fish actually. There we go. To the depths. Certified plier guy. It's a good day when you're running the pliers more than you're running the boat. Remember that. Unless you like just going out for a rip. This drift method is getting a little annoying with how crazy the winds have gotten. Oh, I got a hit. Got him. This bait is on fire. Let's get this fish in. He looked decent and he's just coasting in. Oh. Was that yummy, man? You choked it. You choked it there, guy. That's what happens when you match the hatch. Crazy. Any lake that has an absurd amount of perch in it, even if they're little, throw perch bait. Guarantee these guys are eating them. Or, you know, throw around a mouse for a while. <laughs> little guy, cookie cutters, cookie cutters. I didn't expect anything less out of here. But you do catch the odd like 70 inch, which is not bad. Got one. Just fishing it slow. Just being productive. <laughs> this guy was a little too hungry. There we go. Probably should have just tried to throw them overboard, but that's fine. You know, I think what prompted me to make these, make this bait, we'll ask Leadhead to make this bait for me, is I could not find for the life of me. I look disgusting. I, look, I have slime all over me. I could not for the life of me find a perch swim bait. You'd think that'd be like a staple. I also didn't want to spend an arm and a leg. I mean, there are some definitely out there. I appreciate Leadhead for doing this for me. It's a long time coming. <laughs> Better late than never. Oh. I'm finding sometimes when they hit it, they hit it so hard and they swim with it. They don't necessarily like hit it and like turn, they hit it and swim. Cause I'm fishing this with a lot of slack. So when I feel that little tappy tap, sometimes I just gotta send it like that. <sighs> gotta love aggressive pike hitting the swim bait. Holy smokes there, guy. You hit it the hardest. You're blind. This fish is blind in one eye. Probably got caught in the winter. Someone had him out of the water for too long. Good thing for surviving. But you didn't learn not to eat again. Remember, everything's a danger here. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Foggy eye, blind guy. Come on, let's get going. Just seen that perch in the corner of his eye. That was a really bad pun, I'm sorry. That was bad. Poor guy can't help it. This thing's getting beat up. 
Okay. This is the last rift. It's the final drift. Still got to drive home and shower. Get ready for work tomorrow. It was nice catching up with you guys. It's been a minute. Actually, it hasn't really been a minute. I just haven't been editing and making videos like this. I'm sure I could have kept catching with that mouse, but this is a lot more fun. Next one is gonna get the most dramatic hook set. There we go. Just hammer in the northerns, man. There we go. Beautiful. This one hook. A little bent out of shape. Ooh, so was that one. I lost count on how many fish I've caught today. I think I caught five on the mouse. And I've caught a few on this. That's four at least in the past two passes, so. Pretty decent day. Pretty good for not having a fish finder, I must say. And on some like custom baits. Got one. There we go. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. Seems like there's two sizes. Maybe three. This guy's probably the smallest of the day. What a hungry feller. Whoa. Ow, he got me. He got me, I instantly started bleeding. Ah, that was a good one. I mean, I caught you, man. We're even now. That was good, that's a, that's a gutter. That was a gutter. Ooh, that's why you don't, don't, don't do what I just did. Do not put your fingers in a fish's mouth. Especially a pike. They have teeth. I was just confident that he was just little. We'll finish this drift. We don't got that much left. Covered a lot of water. Not really, it's the same water over and over. But I like covering water like that, drifting, going to the fish essentially. It's a good method to have when you don't have a trolling motor and there's a little bit of wind. Even on a calm day, it's a, don't anchor. Just let yourself do your thing. It's better on a calm day. Today was supposed to be calm, but the wind picked up as soon as I got on the water. Is this it? Is this the final cast? I think this is the final cast. Final cast. Oh, I got a tappy tap. I had to catch up to him. He put so much slack in that line. Feels like nice head shakes. Maybe he's snagged. Now he just feels like nothing. Now he just feels like nothing, but he's staying down. Nope. Just bigger than the 12 inch pike that uh, violated me. What a good last cast. I'm sorry, man, you're bleeding a bit. I set into your gills. I got that guy good, actually. That's just. Do the ethical thing. 61. Okay. I was hoping I could have possibly kept that fish, but he was a little shy. They'd be 63 centimeters to keep in here, which I didn't plan on keeping fish, but he was hooked pretty badly. He was bleeding pretty bad. So usually the right thing to do, 
to see if I can keep them, but could not. Oh, I'm shallow. I gotta get out of here. I said that was on my last cast. Okay, I gotta get out of here. See you guys at the boat launch. Woo! Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Not like YouTube stuff.